This time on Catfish in America, we're headed to the great state of Ohio to fish the Maumee River near the city of Maumee. We're going to be targeting flathead catfish with my tournament partner, Captain Jason Kittner, and our guide this time is Britton Battles. He's fished this Maumee River for years, and he's told me that here in the pre-spawn, these fish are going crazy and got the feed bags on. So we're going to possibly fish all night just out here, you know, during daytime tactics, nighttime tactics, and try to pass on to you some of the techniques we'll be using targeting these pre-spawn flatheads. Target Maumee River flatheads. We're going to be fishing transition areas. Um, the, the fish migrate from structure, typically a little deeper, uh, maybe 15 feet, uh, maybe 12 to 10 feet. Um, this river isn't real deep, but they'll, they'll migrate from the deep water and structure up into the shallow flats in the evening hours, um, late even into the morning. Um, we're going to catch them going to and from these areas. Uh, and a shallow flat might be up to two or three feet of water. We catch a lot of fish right on the bank. Uh, so th these are some of the tactics we're going to use today on the show. Ready? Okay, hold oh. on. Now a lot of times, if you, if you get a flathead that swims into some structure, you let him swim off like he's doing now, and, and sometimes he'll swim out of it. And so I'm just going to let him keep doing his thing. As soon as I knew he had, well, I thought he had hooked up, but you know, he, <laughs> he had uh, definitely not wanted to stay up here by me. I'm going to try to, do I feel it? Oh, I might not feel the, the limb now. I'll take that clip off since it's probably bugging you guys. Now, Britain's got that down rod cleared. Do I still feel it, but let me see if I can clear it. A little bit of drag. I don't know if it's under. He has swam around the back of the boat, and he's in another line, I think. Uh, feels like a nice fish. Come on, buddy. Boy, I tell you what, this night stick. I can't say enough about these rods. Look at that. Oh, he's digging, taking drag, taking. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back on. I'm gonna put it back on. Yeah, come on, buddy. Yeah. Come on, Marine. Yeah, nice fish, man. Come on, Marine. Show me what you I got. I mean, that drag isn't, isn't real loose. But it's like I feel some rubbing, man. I know I got another line. Oh, he's, boy, he's hugging that bottom. Yeah, he's staying down. Wow, look at that. This is going to be a decent fish. But I feel like, yeah, I can feel like the line rub. Oh, look at him. Man, he took a big surge upriver. Wow. Oh, big boil, big boil, big boil. Big boil. Oh, he's digging. Oh, he is in another line. He's up on top, but he's wrapped in another line. It's a, it's, it's a real another good fish. fish. It's a real good fish. Another fish on in the back. Oh, fish on back there? Lucian hooked up. 
Nice fish, nice, nice fish. fish. Nice wow. Fish. Good job, Brent. Wow, he's wrapped in a line, but let me move these donuts. I'm sure they're not mine. No, no. <laughs> Don. Yep. I'm gonna get off there. There you go. You got him, Don. Oh, nice <laughs> fish. Wow. Look at that, man. Yes. Yeah, Great. Right. Googly moogly. Uh, we just. Wow. Heard That's Lucian may be hooked up front of the boat or back of the boat. I think he's in another line. You're in another line Everybody's too. I think line. these fish are tangled. Wow. Yep. Well, I'm in his line. Oh, okay. We're in each other's line. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. Visual Films Outdoor Productions. With dozens of outdoor DVD and VHS titles available, You'll be able to learn all the top tricks and secrets that the pros use to put big fish in the boat. Giant sturgeon, goliath grouper, bass crappie, and of course mega-sized catfish. It's all here, and a lot more. Visit us at www.visualfilms.com. The new Minn Kota Fortrex. Its ruthless mono-arm design features an extruded aluminum backbone with uncompromising strength. A counter-tension stabilizer with no play and no give for silent operation. And lift assist for easy stow and deploy. But it doesn't just sound tough, it walks the walk by outmuscling anything in its path to help you catch more fish. Fortrex, the strong silent type with a built-in mean streak. Okay, you're free. You're free. Tighten up. Yeah, he's still there. Yep. Another good fish. Here's a net, Brent. Oh, thank you. If he's big enough to eat it, loose. Yep. Yep, I gotta tighten that drag up a little. There he is. Ooh, I'm gonna sneak in here and get this fish. Big boil. Big boy. All right. You're fine Ready? right there. Yep. Oh, he's not coming. He's not coming yet. Get some, Luce. Get some. Oh, look at all the boil. Oh, yeah, he's digging, man. Nice fish. Let him all right. Yeah. Nice job. Good job, Brett. Another nice fish. Uh, this is why we come to the Maumee River. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Yeah. Get that out of there. All right, Jason. All right. All right. Let's have Luce uh, go on back with you. Come on back, yeah, Luce. All right. Good looking fish. Grab. There you are. Got him. Another clean fish. Beautiful fish. All right. Done. Great job, guys. <laughs> There's a nice Maumee River double. Oh, there we go. Hang in there, buddy. What Two you, beautiful kids. Oh, give, give me a break, man. <laughs> yeah, there you go thinking again, Luce. But, I mean, two quality fish here. on the. I, I mean, this one's probably pushing 30. And uh, yours probably pushing, what, five? Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, or, or, or something. You know, no, good fish, man. 
Right really on. good fish. Right on. Sorry I got in your line, but hey, it ended well, right? Yeah, yeah. So apparently I had one on on here. He, he swirled around. Yours was swinging this way. Yeah, he went right <laughs> under the boat too. I don't know how they got hooked up, but they sure did. But beautiful big fish. I don't, I, you know, I don't really like keeping them out of the water that long. So what I'm going to do, so you can see each release, I'm going to let mine go over here. We had to cut the line. I, I popped the hook out, but uh, I'm going to release. Oh, man, that's a heavy. Oh, big old gut. Oh. Now leave me some fingers, buddy. Because I'm being. Ah, whoa. Holy cow, oh. man. Let me count them. One, two, there three. Wait. Okay. You ready? Yeah, man. Woo. Well, that's a fat one too, man. Yeah. Holy cow. Now you haven't got splashed yet. Nope. And I'm trying so not to. Is this gonna be the, <laughs> is this gonna be the first time? There he goes. You never get splashed, man. Right on. Well, you know, I'm gonna tell you what, the action here is nonstop. Uh, some fisheries you go to, it's a only during the day, only at night kind of a thing. But here, when's it gonna end? I mean, it's day, I can't wait till it gets dark. I got a feeling it's gonna even heat up more than it already is. Great job, man. Woo! Yeah. Back to the action. You gotta tie me a hook. You know, a couple of things I've picked up on here on the Maumee, and, and we've already caught uh, a half a dozen fish and still a couple hours from, uh, from sunset, is this river's a shallower river. Uh, the main channel is not a distinct channel, it's mainly a big flat with some cut banks, and it's not taking uh, much structure at all to hold several fish. Uh, a log, uh, a small boulder, and th these fish are really relating to that. Now, a deep hole we're fishing here, it, it's considered a hole, but it's only 12 feet deep. Now, during these daylight hours, uh, due to the lack of, of water depth, you know, these little scour holes are really starting to hold the fish. All right, we were just talking about the suspended bait. I'm sitting there minding my own business. Minding his own business. Ho, ho! Yeah! Ha, <laughs> ha! Boy, this, yellow. look at the yellow on that fish. This was a big shad. We'll let him drip dry. Oh, man, look at that guy. Nice looking fish. Look how yellow he is. What do you think, Jace? Look at that. That's a good looking fish. That it? yellow, man. Look at all that yellow. Bright. Wow. Beautiful fish. Got a fish going back here. And there's a fish in the back. And now, Jason, he has got just a little tiny piece of skin yep, I see hooked that. with the circle hook. Yeah, I see that. And he hit cut bait. Uh, it's still technically daylight. And he's sitting cut bait suspended. I mean, there must be a, a zillion fish in this <laughs> river. This mom and me, I'm going to tell you what. I know, I know for a fact, Jason, who, who's already caught a fish here, uh, beat me to the gun, you know. But uh, Jason loves it when there's... A lot of activity. They're not always going to be 90 pounders, you know. This fish is pretty. It fight buried the rod. I mean, what more can you ask for? You get out here, oh, and and Britain's got a fish in the back. So I'm just going to show you the cut bait that <laughs> this guy just uh, hit, man. We cranked this bait <laughs> probably a good seven or eight feet off the bottom. And he was barely hit, but he was just so greedy holding on to this thing. So. Jason, if it's all right with you, I'm putting the same bait back in. Absolutely. I'm going to pull up this. And you know. That's got some great color. Not a tiny fish. A lot of attitude. Hit this thing like a Mack truck. I mean, look at that guy. But just beautiful. This is a lipper. Wow. Beautiful fish. Nice color. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Wow. All right, man. Back you go. Thanks. Woo! You got to love it, man. The Maumee River out here with Jason and Britton, it don't get better than this. Woo! Fish.
are going to need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird. Simply, clearly, better. Visual Films Outdoor Productions. With dozens of outdoor DVD and VHS titles available, you'll be able to learn all the top tricks and secrets that the pros use to put big fish in the boat. Giant sturgeon, goliath grouper, bass, crappie, and of course mega-sized catfish. It's all here and a lot more. Visit us at www.visualfilms.com. The new Minn Kota Fortrex. Its ruthless mono-arm design features an extruded aluminum backbone with uncompromising strength. A counter-tension stabilizer with no play and no give for silent operation. And lift assist for easy stow and deploy. But it doesn't just sound tough, it walks the walk by outmuscling anything in its path to help you catch more fish. Fortrex, the strong silent type with a built-in mean streak. Talking about baits, um, probably one of the most important parts of flathead fishing is having live, hardy, active baits. Yep. Um, a couple of my go-to baits, especially here on the Maumee, are green sunfish, warmouth, and uh, bullheads. How about you, Jason? Uh, I agree with all of those. Uh, this time of the year, it, it, the big bull bluegills are nice. Uh, if you're on a big river system, don't look over uh, your freshwater drum, you can catch on crawlers, uh, small carp. The uh, thing I want to point out is uh, check your local regulations on what's considered sport fish and game fish. Uh, make sure you're in compliance there. And uh, don't, don't forget about that real fresh cut bait. This time of the year, they're pre-spawn and feeding heavy. They'll take a big gizzard shad head or a skipjack uh, just, as, just as fast as a good lively bait sometimes. Oh, nope, he popped off. Oh, he's swinging a miss. A swing and a miss. Oh, no, he didn't. No, you got him. He he's was swimming towards the boat. Look at that. Rod bent in half. Oh, he's taking drag. Oh. I'm going to stick a little fresh fish right behind Don here. Not used to this oh. left-handed reel. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to pan, I'm gonna pan over here, and Jace has got one buried. This is a little bit bigger. Maybe a little Jace. bit. Jace. There we go. I'm just going to go back and forth oh. and see Take which one drag. is. This lever drag, right? See, I'm, I'm going to go back and forth because a uh, he's on the surface over there. Oh, he's on the surface. Okay, back back we go. A little bit bigger. Yeah, nicer. Well, yeah. they're getting bigger as it's getting darker, Brent. Oh, attitude, attitude. Need the net? Yeah. What do you think of that nightstick rod, man? It's nice. Really nice. I like the how it bends. Perfect yeah. for a circle hook. Yeah. Oh, Perfect. man. There nice. Is. Bit nicer of a fish. Yeah. Good job. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Oh, I'm loving it. So now let me go over here and visit my, my partner. What do you think, Jace? Oh, he's swimming up with it. Oh man, he's up river. Got a little bit bigger fish there, Jason. You want me to lift him? He's take, doing. Take the. Uh, he's doing well. Holy cow. Oh. He's oh, digging down, digging down. Pull and drag. Ooh. I'm gonna turn the clicker on. Well, you'd like to see it, man. Look at that rod. I mean, look at that rod action. These nice sticks, high vis. Really loving it. Bring them up and they turn their head down. They got that big square tail. Just yeah, that big square tail. Okay, I'm going to let Britton squeeze in here. I'm going to go a, ahead and. We got a big old fish down here, but I'm going to. going to get in a big up. hurry with this fish. Nope. No, by all means. A little bit bigger. Oh, he's fish. taking that drag. Oh, look at him. Smoking it. Smoking it. Lewis, if you want to reel that reel, reel on straight Wow. Up. Holy cow. I grabbed the wrong rod. Well, he starts smoking it up river. Yeah, he... Wow. Into this current. Yeah, here we go. All He's right. getting closer. He's getting closer. All right, we're going to see a commotion, I think. <laughs> we got bubbles over there. Wow, this is going to be a good one. Man, this dig. guy, he is serious. Look at him dig. Tell you what, that we'll nightstick's not going to give up on him. Oh, no. It's perfect. We'll keep the net out Look of the water until we see the... Yep. Man. 
<laughs> He's taking that drag, buddy. Nice fish. Staying deep too, isn't he? Yeah, he's staying down. Going up river again. Luce is going to catch one up on the front of the boat, I believe. Yeah, if he just took it. <laughs> What's this pandemonium on the mommy, man? All right. Oh, oh, I saw a big boil. Big, oh, look at this boil. All right, we ready to look at him? Yeah, let's look. Oh! Get his head turned the way. Yep. Great! Googly moogly! Woo! Unbelievable! Wow! Great fish! You're looking. Holy cow! I think I got the low end of that double. Wow! Look at this fatty! Man! Way to go, Jace! Good looking fish. Wow! Look at the gut on this thing! And there's your circle hook. Perfect. Wow! Right there where it's supposed to be. And technically, it's still daytime. Technically. Wow, that's what we're talking about. Look at how fat, look how wild that fish is. My goodness, wow. Nice fish, Jason. Good. Way to go, Jace. Wow. Look at that tail. Look at that gut, man. Well, see that big old fat tail, that's why he was having his way. Absolutely. But if you turn that thing and, and let us see his back, look how wide he is. Look at his big old shoulders, big old head. I mean, what a creature. What a creature. Nice fish, Jace. Wow. Got a, got a light to put on him? Or we, we... I got you. Man, unbelievable. All right. I guess this is what it's like to be catfish in America. Catfish in America. <laughs> <laughs> on the Maumee River. Yeah, man. Well, let's get a couple stills before we... And, and, and then we'll film the release here in a little bit. Wow. A beautiful fish. Unbelievable. Where do you think he goes? Oh, it's a good 30 plus. He's oh, yeah. Yeah, he's in nice the 30s. Nice. All right, All let's right. get some stills and then we'll we'll release this guy here shortly. All right, looking right at 35 pounds for mine, and this is still a baby. Teenager, yeah. for we'll take it. Yeah, we'll right. take it. We'll take it. So, okay, let's go over here and follow Jason and watch this big girl. Yeah, we'll get back. Watch this big girl take off. Well, what a fight! What yes, a fight. Yeah, she's trying. <laughs> Whoa, holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> and then, of course. Outstanding. Of course, we want to release this other fish. You know, this is a nice teenager. Let her go. Britain's going to. Britain's going to get this one back the in. Little flop here. Oh. There we go. Whoa! And whoa. they're ready to go. Woo! Is there ever a dry release? No. Not with <laughs> flathead fishing, there's not. Never. <laughs>
and lift assist for easy stow and deploy. But it doesn't just sound tough, it walks the walk by outmuscling anything in its path to help you catch more fish. Fortrex, the strong silent type with a built in mean streak. We yes, just, sir. Just released those two. Oh, look at that. Oh, a big giant boil. Nice boy. That's a good looking fish. Good fish. Probably the second. Look at the head. I don't know if we're going to be able to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, yeah, here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. The big old head. Big old head. Look at him. This is another good fish. I want to sneak under here. Boy, that's. Back. Man, Jason just released his 35, 38, whatever it you know, was. Skill kept bouncing. I, you know, I, you know me. I would go with the 38, but, and this isn't gonna be no baby. Big old head on this thing. Look at that mouth. Hit cut bait too. Come on, bring him in. Nice, nice. Look at that big old gut. This is another big heavy fish. It's a good fish. Wow. And he didn't, he didn't power slam it and hit it. He just kind of took it that slow, steady. Wow! Look how wide that fish is. Man. Wow. Big, thick, heavy fish. Circle wow. Hook. Did its job. Circle hook where it's supposed to be. And you can get an idea about the size of that head when you look at Britton's hands. And Britton is not a little guy. You know, he's got big hands. I mean, it's a good fish. And, and this light, I want to put a, a special, some special love out to Captain Jason Kittner. He's over here with his wonderful, wonderful cell phone. How's that for a Bobby River light. flathead? Wow, man, big, heavy, girthy fish. Wow, great job, Britton. Now, I'm pretty good at these guesstimates, and I'm going to say that's high 20s. High 20s, 28? High 20s. 29, maybe? Man, beautiful fish. And, we'll of course, it. of course, there went the back. Oh, no, he got the battery back. He's Wonderful. Back up. Look how muscular that fish is. Look at the back. And, look, and you all know how big... Captain J, you know, big in a good way, Jason. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> big in a good way. Big old hand, and look at that fish. Just a wonderful example of a mommy river flathead. Well, Britton, let's go ahead and get it back awesome. in. We don't want to stress yeah. it out. This is the pre-spawn. So we're going to let this thing get you all soaking wet. That's fine with me. I'll take it. Yeah. Come yeah, on. I think it's going to have an attitude when it leaves. Yep. Most of the time they do. Oh, she just went straight down. Well, that's good. That's good, yep. man. Man, you got a big fish and you stay dry again? <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm dry, but I'm, I'm drier than I could have been. When it comes to flathead catfishing, Jason, Britain wore me out. Unbelievable fishing. Did you expect this kind of fishing? I didn't expect the numbers of fish we caught. Uh, this is my best flathead fishery ever. And you know, Jason has fished about everywhere that there's a flathead. Some yeah. mud puddles I, I, you know, I've heard about, but I, you know, and, and it's caught him out of it. I mean, that's the shocking part. But Britton, you've been fishing this place for years. Is this a typical day, typical night, or do we actually put a spanking on? This would be an above average pre-spawn <laughs> outing, <laughs> um, but it's uh, nowhere unexpected. Well, that, so, so that was kind of a, a, a tribute to Jason's flatheading ability, right, Britton? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm gonna tell you, you get you know you get Britton and Jason on a flathead river, it was dangerous, and I think it showed. All the techniques and and the base and all the stuff that that Britton and Jason share with you, you can actually duplicate these same things possibly on your river. Each river is a little bit different, but I tell you what, take it from Jason, he's fished all of them. There are some great flathead opportunities out here on pre-spawn that you could take advantage of near you. So for Catfish in America, I'm Captain Don Sweet along with Captain Jason Kidner and Britton Battles, and we'll see you next time out on the water chasing them whiskers. Tennessee River, the Mississippi mud, no other place did I wish I was. Ohio River or Barclay Lake, the rest of the world's gonna have to wait while I'm catfishing America. It just don't get better than this I'm catfishing in America Cause I was born to fish I'm catfishing in America It just don't get better than this I'm catfishing America
just don't 